First off, congrats to Class 13. And congrats to Class 12. I know you guys didn't uh, get an in-person graduation last year. Um, thank you to American Express Leadership Academy, ASU Lone Star. It's been an incredible year, an up and down year. Um, my emotions are all over the place today. So, and Randy, I know you're online. I'm not pregnant either, but my emotions are all over as I sat and recapped the year. Um, I started writing a bunch of stuff on what I was going to say, and then it hit me that I'm not analytical. I'm social. Um, you know, and so I'm just going to speak from the heart and, and share some of the stuff that I experienced. So first off to Jill and Cassidy, you guys come up here just real quick. I just want, I want you guys to take just about the class and what you guys have accomplished this year. <laughs> These two ladies are catapulted into the hybrid world of in person, online, all over the place, dogs barking, cats meowing, remember that? Um, family in the background, emergencies going on at work, uh, y'all famous, we can't hear you, technology, technology, technology problems. And they handled it with such grace and such dignity and poise and always made us feel welcome. And so thank you guys for everything you did this year and continue to do. Um, I'll share with you guys, it was in 2019, and I was at an event uh, here in Phoenix at a one-day conference, and my boss was there, who I'll introduce here in a little bit, um, was there with us, and I was with coworkers, and we were sitting, we were having breakfast, and all of a sudden, my boss's team from class 12 shows up to this event, and they overtake the team, right? And in a positive way, their energy was just, I remember leaving, and we were having breakfast before the event, and I remember leaving, going into the big room, going, God, I want to be part of that. That was absolutely amazing. It was just an infusion of energy, of positivity. Little did I know that a year later, I would be asked by my boss to play. And so, Jenny and I, my boss, you stand up. Class 12. <laughs> And to the other family and just coworkers that are here, Chile, or Jose, I see your family here. So there's see several people, folks walking out with family. Thank you guys to coworkers, to family that have supported us, that continue to support us, that allow us the opportunities to do so. You know, from the bottom of my heart. Um, so anyway, so we we apply. And I was sharing with the team earlier. You know, the interview process was online. And I'm sitting there like, what do I wear, what do I not wear? So I put the top half of a suit on and, and gym shorts on the bottom. And I did my interview, as I'm sure a lot of us have done in meetings, right? Yeah. And so, um, so it went, it started. And from that moment on, I just felt at peace because it was just such a peaceful process that you felt at home. We started, the class started, and next thing was the sharing of our stories. And that's, I think, when it really hit home for me. A piece that brings us all together. That everybody in that, in the class, and I'm sure it's been in the classes before and will be in the classes to come, that we're unified with something. We've all been through struggles, the pain, the fear. My fear is speaking, and I'm up here. Um, and I mean, it's like we've all taken that and turned it into opportunities. You're talking to a kid here who, when I grew up, there was no internet. I remember I found an AM radio my dad had in the garage, and the first person I ever listened to was Dolly Parton. And um, I didn't have the opportunities that all of us as a combined group are giving to people today through our nonprofit sectors. And here I found myself with a, an incredible group of like minded individuals and with an incredible group of folks who support them, who've taken the trials and tribulations and turned them into something. 
And so I want you guys to just stop and think a little bit for a on that on what that means now together we're changing lives. Oh, I'm still shaking, I'm sorry. <laughs> In this room, I remember being in the Beamer Genetics and running around the room with the colors and, and having fun and finding out what our color was and what kind of moved us. To the coaches, coaches, fantastic. I have to do a shout out for Brian, he's my <laughs> coach. Uh, it's like I knew him forever and, and uh, just kept going. Just, you know, kept uncovering layers, as I'm sure the other coaches did for you guys. Um, As I, was, as I was recapping last night, what I was going to talk about is um, a couple of quotes came to mind. And I'm going to end with this because my mouth is getting really dry. Um, one of the quotes that, that I try to live by is by Dr. Wayne Dyer. If any of you guys are familiar with his work, but it's um, you can't get what you don't have, and you can't get what you don't receive. You can't get what you don't have is actually, I think it's a book, and it's not his quote, but he added on to it was you can't receive what you don't get. Right. And it talks about being in a state of uh, giving, that you give to the universe, and the universe gives back. Well, this year the universe gave back to me by allowing me to be here, by allowing me to share the past 10, 11, 12 months, I don't know what it's been, um, with all of you. And you guys do that every day. You do it every day in what you do. And the other quote is one by Mother Teresa. And it has nothing to do with religion. It's I believe in her humanity work. That she, she had such a heart for humanity. And her quote was, if you can't feed 100 people, feed just one. And we do that every day. Sometimes it's one. Sometimes it's 100. Sometimes it's thousands at a time. But we do it through our work. As I was walking up here, I was looking here. It says, be the future of our sector. So never forget the collective power we have as collaborators, as friends. As the friendships that have formed are incredible. Um, so with that, I just, I, I end in, in saying thank you. I'm honored. I'm, I'm just beyond, beyond thrilled to, to have been a part of this and to continue on with this. Thank you.